All right, it's vacation time again. Uh, so I figured I would do a quick video of what I'm taking and what I may take with me. So I'm going to go to Salt Lake City <clears throat> area, down to Moab, do some wheeling for a week or two. I'm going to be there for two weeks. So got to bring, bring a variety, right? And I'm going to meet up with a couple of guys there that are good friends of mine. And so I got to bring some good show and tell stuff, right? So I've got the Pelican case loaded up with some options. Not quite decided. I'm filming this three or four days before I'm leaving, so I can amend it some, and we'll see what I end up doing. But this is probably what I'm taking. So this is a Null Pack case I got. It's a Pelican case from Null Pack. And let's start off with the flashlights. So I'm going to take the Donut Olight i3T with some spare AAA batteries. And I'm also going to take the new to me Focusworks uh, F2, I think this is, with a 14500 battery and a battery charger. I don't have a spare battery, so I'll just charge it at night back at the room. Um, and I think I should be totally fine with this one. Has a lot more light output than the Olight. For watches, these are my typical go to Moab watches. I take the Rolex Air King and I take the upside down Seamaster 300. They're not running, so the dates are different and the times and all that. So don't get excited. I know I didn't set them and spin them up for this video, but yeah. The Omega is really what I will wear the entire time I'm in Moab out wheeling. Um, and this one I may wear one day out there too. We'll see. But around town, it'll be the Air King. And always on the plane is the Air King. All right, so... Can you guys name any of these before we even get into it? Leave a comment down below. First off, I will probably take with me the Best Tech Man, the Best Tech Man Ronin, which I got from them um, maybe a year ago. Super great budget EDC knife, 50, 60, 40, 50 bucks, something like that. I don't even remember. Pretty fidgety, super sharp, and would be a great go-to beater knife for sure. So we'll slide that right in here. Um, yeah, these other ones, let's just, let's just start here on the left. The RJ Martin Q36 SS. This is probably what will be in my pocket most of the week down in actually uh, in Moab. Uh, if you get scratched up, it gets scratched up. What are you going to do? They're made to use. Okay, super great one. Last year, I carried the VC Edge interface the entire week. Next, we've got the Shirogorov RJ Martin collab, the soft overkill. Taking this to really for show and tell. Although, I might carry this one too. I just, I don't know. We'll see. The Eric Kramer Reaper. I know that the my friends there have not seen this one. So I'm taking some knives that I haven't taken with me before to show and tell with them so that they can kind of see in person some other stuff. And this one's really underrated. It was really hype back in the day when I got it. And I need to bring this out and carry it more often because it's just super cool. Super great from Eric. Um, Ironwood Backspacer. Love it. Got to take my current newest Hellraiser with me because one of the guys I'm going to see had four of the uh, Black Death series Hellraisers, super high end, fancy customs. I ended up buying three of those four, <laughs> and I may end up be buying the fourth one back from the guy I sold it to up in Arizona, in uh, Alaska. So I got to take this one to show them. Best Tech Man, we already talked about the Tim Galleon XL Junkyard Dog, total one off piece, super high end custom. Gotta show this one to them because it's just amazing. The fit and finish, the action on washers is insane. It's got a flip action that is unlike any other knife I have ever handled. So I know they're going to like that one. And then last but not least, the Frank Fisher Fury. I know they haven't seen this one yet either in person. So I want to show this one to them. I had thought about taking the battles as well. I bought this one from one of the guys there in Salt Lake, uh, and they, but they've seen both of these. He owned this one for a year or so, 
And I had this one the last time I was there, so I'm probably not going to take them this time. Although I do travel with the battles quite a bit. So what would you change? What do you have? What it, what you know my collection for the most part? Is there something different you would want to see me take? Uh, let me know. By the time this video goes, I think I'm already going to be on my way there. Um, just timing wise with videos. So, but yeah, let me know. I would love to hear. What do you take on vacation? Do you take something fancy? Do you not take something fancy? Do you just grab something and go? Do you take a variety? Love to hear your thoughts. So let me know down below. And again, thank you very much. I am trying to get a video a day while I'm gone. I got a lot of filming to do in the next three days. So I might break my streak. I don't know that I can film enough to cover the entire trip, but we'll see. I'll keep you posted. Thanks, guys.